Yo, what is good guys? It is your boy Monsell Fish here. Today, I wanna to tell you guys about five Christ-centered artists that I listen to. So, I know I get this question a lot, like, can I find more artists like your music? Um, most people just know my music from like Spotify and stuff. They share a lot of my music and people wanna know like more of that style. And so, I think that's super cool that I can share this with you guys because it's like, um, it gives me an opportunity to share some of my brothers. I don't have any female artists right now that, that I wanna share, but in the future I definitely will. Actually, I will, because there is a band that has a, has some female artists in it. It's a cool way to just share this with you guys. I'm trying out the new setups right now. I got a light right now, and then I got a light in the back, so I'm trying out some new stuff here for the channel, so hopefully um, you guys are digging it. But without further ado, I wanna get into the first artist, which is my brother in Christ, my homie, Jonathan Ogden. Most of you guys already know this dude. He was featured on my song, Wonderful God, off my Bedroom Gospel EP. Um, but that dude is a great singer, songwriter, and producer. He's actually in a band as well called Rivers and Robots. So he does his solo stuff and then he does his stuff with a band. But I mainly personally been listening to his uh, Jonathan Ogden stuff, which I actually got onto his music from his Rivers and Robots stuff, which is his band. But nonetheless, I really love this guy's music. His spring EP uh, specifically, I really love the sounds on there. But I also love, I think Winter is my favorite because Winter is, I don't know, it, it's just very personal and intimate to me that the, the way the songs are written and the way it goes. The next artist I wanna go to is Loud Harp. Now Loud Harp is actually a worship band. I'm not too sure where they're from. Um, I think it's only about three or four members, but basically their music, again, just like Jonathan Ogden is, is very scripture and Christ centered. And that's the one, one of the reasons why I like these artists music so much is because their music is based around Christ. And I love when artists are very bold about, around Christ, around worship music, because some of the worship music nowadays, they just use adjectives like you, him, and he, like they don't really get down to saying Jesus and God. And I that's some of the most, I, I just love that worship music. Just I just love the boldness of it. So Loud Harp, specifically their album ASAF is what I've been listening to a lot. Just an amazing album, amazing worship, spirit-filled album. And it will definitely bring you into that secret place with God where you can just spend time with him and worship him and yeah, pray. Um, Next album is, uh, actually next artist is Citizens and Saints. Now Citizens and Saints, I believe, are from Seattle, a great worship band. I don't know if they classify themselves as worship bands, but their music is very Christ-centered. It's very based around the redemption we have in Christ. Um, a lot of the times they focus on just how as humans, like we are, we are not near Christ, but how great Christ is, and it, it kind of meets in the middle, um, which I really enjoy about their music. Citizens and Saints is a great band. You should definitely go check out their album, Amir Dimly. Um, it's it's really good. It's just it's it's an amazing album. Um, yeah. So next artist, you probably guys definitely probably already know this one is Kings Kaleidoscope. This is personally probably my favorite worship band. Um, I've been knowing about them for on two years now and. King's Kaleidoscope is a great worship band. Uh, I'm, I'm specifically really enjoy their album, Becoming Who We Are and Beyond Control. Main reason is is because the dude Chad, he's like the main leader. So he's like a producer and he kind of brings like all these different instruments, strings, horns, uh, pianos, guitars, bass guitars, two drummers. Like they're, they're just the most creative worship band that I know out there. Um, there's not many like them. And so I really appreciate uh, their music and I really think that they have a, a lane that they can really um, reach a lot of people and just just being who they are and then the last band is a Loki not, not many people probably know them but I really enjoy the music is Isla Vista worship now Isla Vista worship is like uh, some college kids it's like a worship team based on like a college campus in Isla Vista California and I really love their their mission and their mindset I think they hold this this part this uh, this thing every night called Jesus Burgers, where they basically hand out burgers like for free to drunk college kids, and then they get a chance to talk to them about Jesus. They get a chance to just preach the gospel, and they get a chance to like them witness worship because they have the worship services on those nights. So, Isla Vista Worship definitely go check out their album Isla Vista Worship, and then they have Isla Vista Worship Two. Um, but I really been enjoying Isla Vista Worship One. I haven't fully got into Isla Vista Worship Two yet. And then uh, just to end this video, I wanted to make it in five minutes, but just to end it, then Jake James is a dope, another dope worship artist. Um, I've recently been listening to him. He's my buddies with my friend Will, and now he's my brother. Um, well, he's been my brother, I just haven't known him yet. Um, but yeah, uh, Jake James is a dope uh, worship artist. His music is very ambient, very like, uh, 
hard like trap like if i would refer the beats it would probably be to someone like party next door i used to listen to him a lot so jake james definitely go check him out his new album close to you um definitely go check that out but that is my top five christ-centered artists that i'm listening to right now so if you guys did like this video you can always hit that like button if you guys want to see more videos you can always hit that subscribe button but thank you guys for watching it's your boy Montel fish and i will see you guys on the next one